Mark Levin is... How do I phrase this? He's decided he's going to uh, march the GOP right off a cliff. And I love it. I love it. It's awesome. He doesn't realize how much of a clown he is. Uh, let's listen to what he had to say about Chris Christie. This ought to be interesting. By the way, uh, Matt Drudge, Drudge Report, he's reporting that uh, Obama and uh, Chris Christie are getting back together for another tour of the Jersey Shore. Obama will travel to New Jersey on Tuesday uh, to inspect the shore's recovery from Hurricane Sandy, a White House official said today. Apparently, this is in Politico via the Drudge Report. Well, that's all right, Christy. You keep putting a nail in that political coffin of yours. <laughs> the most radical president in modern American history. <laughs> was helping to destroy this country. And Christy, you, you know, they are uh, same-sex politicians, correct, Mr. Producer? All right, so we have same-sex politicians getting back together again check out the Jersey Shore. Now, everybody knows why Christie's doing this, because he's running in a blue state. He wants to win re-election, and Obama wants to help him, just as Christie helped Obama defeat Romney. I'm on to this guy, Krispy Kreme. And I take full credit for his lap band, too, because I think I encouraged him to do it with some tough love. Believe me, it's tough. <laughs> Mark, nobody listens to your show, dude. Hello, like, oh, what, Chris Christie's sitting there? What did Mark Levin say about my weight? Maybe I should get a lap band because he criticized me. Look, maybe he's joking, maybe he's not joking, but, it, I mean, we've, how many times have we seen this with the right-wing uh, talk show hosts? Like, the progressive talk show hosts, we view this as, like, we're doing a job, right? Like, we read the news and report it to you. But the, on, on the right-wing side, like, they think they're the saviors of the world. They think they're, they're restoring the republic. Rush Limbaugh thinks he's a god on earth. How many times does Glenn Beck talk about he thinks he's like a prophet? He just gave a speech, uh, not a speech, he gave a, a rant the other day on his show talking about how I can feel people's pain. And I read this guy's mind and told him everything is going to be alright because I'm so special. I mean, they're clowns. They're such clowns. And meanwhile, anybody who knows the way they do the ratings on uh, talk radio, they know it's all, it's all a, a farce. It's all a fraud. Rush Lin Nobody listens to Rush Limbaugh anymore. Nobody listens to Mark Levin anymore. As soon as they switched over to a new rating system, which is called People Meters, where instead of people, they used to have to fill out surveys and send it in to determine uh, who's getting the ratings, right? It was the least accurate way to ever do it. Uh, but now they switched to People Meters so they can actually tell via GPS if you're in a certain uh, proximity to the station, they know who's listening. As soon as they switch over to that, they were like, oh my God, nobody's listening to Right Wing Talk Radio. But look, now let's get to what he was talking about there, because, oh, that's so much fun. Levin and all these other uh, crazy, purist, Kool-Aid-drinking right-wingers, they attack Chris Christie nonstop, nonstop. They've gone after him ever since uh, Hurricane Sandy. Why? Because Christie had uh, the audacity to come out there and say, hey, look, uh, Obama was able to send FEMA help very quickly, so he's done a good job. Now, giving President Obama credit for anything is uh, blasphemy in those circles. Even fucking, what's the guy who goes on uh, Bill O'Reilly's show, Goldberg, was it Bernie Goldberg? Even he said, there are people in the Republican Party, Obama could cure cancer and they would come out against it and they'd still hate him. He said, it is literally true, his words. And O'Reilly agreed with him. Bill O'Reilly, of all people, who's wrong about 95% of things, even agreed with that. Right? Dude, here, I'm going to destroy Levin's idiocy with just one point. Chris Christie's approval rating is 71%. He is literally the most popular Republican in the country. I just read an article earlier today, I think it was in the Washington Post, titled, Chris Christie, the most popular Republican in the country. And you're going to mock him? No, these guys are on self-destruct mode. I mean, they're on self-destruct mode. They want to, they're committing political suicide. 